What's up for this week? The 2019 North Carolina Wet Shaver Soap from Katie's Bubbles, Eau de Thé. Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Today I have some items from the 2019 North Carolina Wet Shavers Meetup to review. But before I cover that one, let me just send a big shout out and a thank you to everyone who attended the meetup yesterday in Louisville, Kentucky. Fantastic. Turnout was relatively light because of course it's the first time that we've done it. I'm hoping that the next time this happens, there'll be a bigger turnout, bigger and bigger and bigger and better and better every time. But for everyone who came out, thank you so much for attending. It was really a, a, a really fun event. All right, let's go back to the wet shaving meetup before the one yesterday. It's going to be the one which was the North Carolina, the 2019 North Carolina wet shaving meetup for which Katie's Bubbles provided a custom scent and a set of the luxury soap and a aftershave toner, which you can also use as a pre-shave apparently, which I will be doing today. So this is the Eau de Thé. I'll just show you what it looks like and then we'll talk about the scent. It is the normal luxury luxury soap formula from the uh, from Katie's Bubbles, which is a fantastic vegetal or vegan soap. Uh, excellent, excellent soap. We'll talk about performance during the uh, during the shave. But obviously, this was a custom scent requested by the person who organized the meetup, and it is a oh, it is a beautiful crisp mix of bergamot and ginger and black and green tea up front. There is a very light. There's kind of a very light grassy floral note to it. And then I don't get kind of any of the base notes. There's just some musk and some other pieces in there. But for me, it's really just a delicious, a very nice, crisp, really well done tea scent. The ginger is a nice addition. There's a nice touch of floral and greenness to it. Oh, it just smells really, really good. And on top of that, my wife also thinks it smells fantastic. So that is a two for two. All right, I'm going to be lathering up what I have remaining in the Captain's Choice loading bowl. That's going to be plenty for today. I'm going to be using, this is the other one of the other items for review today. It is a 26, 26 millimeter synthetic knot from Yaki Handle. I, this is just a really cool rainbow colored handle. I really like the fact that a lot of these manufacturers are kind of busting out the color combos and trying to be a bit more, uh, a bit more splashy, shall we say, when it comes to the um, the brush handles, it just adds a bit of a, a splash of color, a pop of color, as it were. This is, I believe, the faux horsehair synthetic. I'm not sure if that's what they call it, but I believe that's what this is. This is a great knot that I'll talk about when we actually start building the leather. And then for the razor, it's going to be the return of the Fatip Testino Gentile in an effort to recover its reputation with me because, of course, the custom edition, that thing just didn't shave properly. Now, I will tell you up front, so you know, just sitting there in suspense wondering, oh my God, how's this going to go? It has redeemed itself completely. This particular version of the razor shaves great. So clearly something wrong with that custom edition. Now, as I said, this is the matching aftershave toner. I only just realized, by the way, that you can put this on as a pre-shave. In fact, it says it on the side there. This is an alcohol-based, um, and I think it includes witch hazel as well, and chamomile, and... Willow bark extract. Whatever. Uh, it's close to you can use it as a pre-shave, which I have not I have not done before. So let me try that. There is no regulator on the top here, so you just have to hold your finger and just splash out a little bit. There we go. Apply this. And then I'm just gonna lather right over that. Wow. Mmm. Yeah, a really, really well done scent. And I have to say that for the uh, for the aftershave, the dry down is very nice. That scent really comes alive there. All right, let me go and get the brush wet through and we'll start lathering up. Now, I don't remember the person's name and apologies for that, but a person did post a recent comment on one of the YouTube videos, when the last, the last one or the one before that, about how perhaps um, he should maybe look into using vegan soaps because he normally avoids those, he's a big tallow person. And I, I totally understand why people might prefer one over the other, 
But if you're just avoiding one sort of on principle because you believe that a vegan soap really has no way to compete with a tallow-based soap, then I think you're really cheating yourself out of experiencing some of the really very best soaps on the market. And I have to say, I have always been a fan of Katie's Bubbles. This particular soap does work very well for me. I think the lather is great. It's very easy to work with. I'm just building up a, just loading the brush right now. I'm gonna add a touch of water to that. Just a few drops and just continue to load the brush. Yeah, I think if you're avoiding or skipping vegan soaps on principle or out of principle because you just think that tallow is so good that a vegan soap cannot compete, I think you're really missing out. Katie's Bubbles, Saponificio Varicino, for example, those two, so the Southern Witchcraft soaps, there's a number of others that are very, very good soaps and where you might be, in fact, hard pressed to tell the difference between a tallow soap and a vegan or a vegetal based soap. All right, a little more water and then I think we all have plenty loaded. Oh yeah. That's looking pretty good. Now that's clearly gonna need more water when it goes onto the face, but that's fine. Just a touch of water. We're gonna just lather them right over the aftershave lotion as a pre-shave. Now this is one of the soaps where almost immediately you get a very kind of soft, slick, kind of a fatty face feel and it is not a tallow based soap but it has that same kind of, kind of dense richness to it. This is a bigger handle on the brush which I, which I quite like, very easy to hold. A bit on the heavier side compared to some of the others but not heavy and this knot is fantastic it is so soft it splays easily but it's got a really nice balance of backbone and splay no scrub or scritch at all yeah if I had to choose for example between something like the tuxedo knot and this knot it's absolutely no no difficult decision in any way, shape, or form. I'd go for this over the tuxedo every time. Okay, that's starting to feel like that's almost ready. The soap itself feels slick. The brush is moving smoothly and easily without feeling like it's getting stuck in there. A little more water. And I'm just sort of painting it on. Yeah, you can see what's happened there. That's just formed beautiful, nice very wet, slick, dense, creamy lather. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. All right. I've had about just under four hours of sleep. So if I forget a pertinent detail, well, what can I do? All right, first pass. This is the Fata Testina Gentile with a Kai blade in it, which I have been using all week. And that has been going very, very well. This will likely be the last shave on this blade though. I did shave Saturday morning before trekking off to beautiful Louisville. So this is, I don't know, 30 hours of growth. Met some really nice people there, great conversations. Really interesting place. Got a great tour. Andrew, thank you for that. It's nice to see people's spouses and friends attending as well. And a big shout out to a pair of jazz musicians in Chicago. Hope it all goes great. Yeah, the soap is slick, dense, protective, and just makes this such an easy, easy shave. You know, that's one of the things about Katie's Bubble soaps, and it's true for many other soaps, but it's certainly, you know, worthwhile to highlight here. This is a no-effort soap. 
There's no special shenanigans required. Load your brush and lather, just as simple as that. There we go. Yeah, that blade's starting to get a touch tuggy. I was surprised actually the first day, the first two days really, how incredibly smooth that blade felt in the Testina Gentile. I kind of expected to feel a little bit rough, maybe a little bit bitey, because the kai and the feather are both, generally speaking, maybe a little too sharp to start with. All right, pass number two, but turned out not to be the case. Very, very nice combo. Scent on the soap, by the way, is pretty strong off the puck. Not overpowering, distinct. Doesn't fill the room, but it's not meant to. It's shaving soap, after all. Scent stays pretty strong while lathered. But I have to say, very nicely done for the uh, for the meetup soap. Great scent. Just nice to see a kind of a custom idea come to life like that. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes to pair a scent with the season, this is more likely a summer scent. It's a bit lighter. It's a bit fresher. Kind of reminds you of a little bit of sort of iced tea on the porch kind of thing. But I never try to pair scents with the, with the seasons because I really don't care. So I would wear this really anytime. All right, pass number two. Yeah, I uh, have to say, I really like this soap. Wonderful scent and just excellent performance. Now, I, I do realize that for some of the scents, it's almost like Katie's Bubbles has deliberately chosen names that perhaps for most Americans will be difficult to pronounce and maybe that's kind of the kind of half the joke. Yes, that blade is on its last legs. Wow, still, still having such a smooth, easy shave. All right, almost done with this pass. Now, if you're wondering, and I am too a little bit, what that aftershave lotion is doing for you is a pre-shave, adding to the scent, I don't know if that's really helping you on that first lather, but it certainly feels good going on. Might be a bit of skin prep. All right, this is going to be the last pass. I'm going to potentially pull out some of the lather that's left in the loading bowl. I think there's plenty in this, in this knot, but we'll see. Mmm. Man, that smells good. All right, let's just try to pull the rest of that out. I mean, really hard to argue with that. I mean, I understand the love for tallow soaps because I myself love tallow-based soaps, tallow and lanolin and milk-based soaps. Get a three thumbs up for me, but I am not going to argue with this at all. This is a really, really, really good shaving soap. All right, final pass against the grain. And by the way, if you're shaving and you're doing a three pass shave and your third pass is a alternate version of the across the grain, that's totally fine, right? I happen to be doing against the grain, but I realize that for a lot of people, it just really isn't in the cards, certainly on certain parts of your face. Don't bother. 
It's really not required. Yeah, right here is where I can feel that blade is not much longer for this world. Almost done. Yeah, this blade has that slightly rough edge to it now where you, you know that if it hitches or catches, you're going to get cut. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. Almost done. There we go. Oh, wow. All right. Yep, there's a little bit left, and that is the blade for sure, but I know better. This is not the moment to go crazy. Let that one go, because i got to shave again in less than 24 hours, so what's the point? All right, let's rinse off. The soap does actually rinse relatively easily. There we go. Post-shave, I have to say post-shave is also pretty good. You know, this soap is not, not full of all kinds of extra fats, like super, super fatted. Post-shave is generally speaking pretty good. Wow, that shave actually ended up better than I expected based on the face feel of that blade. Mm. All right, now let's do the aftershave lotion as an actual aftershave. Shake it up a little bit and just pour some out very carefully because again there's no regulator so you're just kind of using your fingertip to control the flow. This does have a kind of an immediate dry down based on the alcohol obviously but it is also very nice and soothing so I don't ever have um, that kind of like hot alcohol hit. I'm just going to use a little bit more. There we go. Combination of the Witz Hazel, the Chamomile, the White Willow Bark. Yeah, just a nice a touch of the alcohol and then just a nice soothing, calming effect on the skin. And of course, ah, it smells great. Now, the scent obviously on the aftershave uh, is not that strong you know it lasts for a little bit um there is also an eau de toilette that's eau de toilette eau de perfume eau de toilette i believe um the, the katie bubbles provided one i got a sample of that as well i have a uh, spray of that i've been using that just a quick spray before i get dressed just the one and that does last uh quite a while and very very nice uh kind of you know wafting through your clothes just really well done all right well man not bad, not bad at all. All right, here we go. Let's do a quick 
lightning round recap. Katie's Bubbles Eau de Thé means tea water. This was formulated for the 2019 North Carolina Wet Shavers Meetup. I have the soap, I have the aftershave lotion, which you can apparently use as a pre-shave as well, and the eau de toilette. Very, very nice vegan soap. This is really kind of at the, at the top there. Like for me, this is clearly one of my favorite soaps. I think this formula works great. Again, if you're skipping vegan soaps because you think that they can't compete with, with tallow-based soaps, you should try one of these soaps for sure. I think you might be quite surprised. Very, very nice soap. Great slickness, easy to work with, easy to lather. Rinse is quite clean, good protection. <sighs> what else can I say? Love that stuff. Followed by the brush you need to use to actually, you know, lather the soap up, so it's kind of a combo. This is the Yaki 26 millimeter rainbow handle faux horsehair knot. This is an excellent knot. I really, really like this. And as I said, I would choose this over the tuxedo in a heartbeat. Way better than the tuxedo knot for me. Absolutely. No difficulty with that decision in any way, shape, or form. The Fatip Testina Gentile with the Kai blade. I'm going to wish that Kai a, well, a happy goodbye. Move on to another razor for next week, which I'm quite looking forward to. And last but not least, Eau de Day, the aftershave lotion. Excellent stuff. Soothing, calming. It still does have that kind of nice, a kind of a bit of an alcohol hit, so you do have a dry down feeling. Um, scent kind of comes alive when you put it on. <sighs> just overall, that was really, really good. Not bad. Oh, see right there? Just a tiny, tiny touch. Uh, I expected that was going to happen. All right, my friends, that's it for this week. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. Also, for the people that are meeting in person, thank you for all the kind comments and just the uh, the encouragement and the support. I really do appreciate that. It means, it means a great deal to me. As always, of course, please feel free to leave questions or comments against this video or any previous video. And until next time, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.